I hope you enjoyed last week's lesson with teacher Nancy. So, Karibu, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, how grateful we are for this day that you have given us. Thank you for bringing us to Sunday school. Help us to understand and help us to be thankful even as we are learning. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So do you remember what we have been learning about? Prayer. Do you remember what we learned? Let me show you some pictures. Do you remember who this was and what was happening here? We see people are praying for Peter who was in jail. Do you remember what happened? After they prayed, he was released from prison. Then we also had another lesson about prayer. Did you go on a journey, boys and girls? Do you remember what we said you are to do when you're going on a journey? What is it you're supposed to do? What is it you wear? As you pack your bags, what else should you pack? We see Ezra. This is priest Ezra, and he was leading people to pray as they were going on a journey when they were returning back home. I hope you remembered that lesson and continue to pray. Then teacher Nancy taught us also something else. Who is this? Elijah. Remember the lesson about Elijah? There was a drought. There was no rain. And he prayed and prayed. He persisted, continued to pray and pray until there was a small cloud and then the rain came. So don't give up on prayer. We are to be persistent in prayer. And so today, we are going to learn something else. Now, there is a story we are told in the Bible from Luke chapter 17, from verse 11. We see that there were 10 lepers. How many? 10 lepers. What were lepers? Lepers was a uh, people who suffered, who were sick, a disease called leprosy. And because it was so contagious, meaning it was easy to be transferred from one person to another, like we have COVID today, they were told to stay away outside of the city. Their families were living inside the city, but they were living outside the city. They were so sad, they were so sad, all alone. They couldn't see their families. Then one day they had something. Jesus was coming. They shouted, Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, have mercy on us. So what did Jesus do? He was not afraid. He went to them. And they said, yes, what do you want me to do for you? And they said, we want you to heal us. So Jesus said in verse Luke chapter 17, verse 14, we see in, in our Bibles. Do you have your Bible? Luke 17, verse 14. Jesus said, go show yourselves to the priests. Can you see I have my Bible? He said, go show yourselves to the priests. And these people did not question because they knew who Jesus was. The 10 of them just started going on their journey. And while on the way, they looked at themselves and said, oh my, we are healed. Because leprosy were wounds on the skin. Some even did, uh, leprosy can even cut off your limbs. Now, they looked at themselves, their skin were clear. They were like, oh my, this is so nice. They started singing, they were so happy, they were so joyous, oh, we have been healed, we have been healed. And so they were going to show themselves to the priests. But one man, one man remembered, oh, this is so good. He went back and looked for Jesus. And what did he say? Thank you so much. Thank you for healing me. Now, this is a very interesting story. The only one man, came back. How many had, had been healed? Ten. And only one remembered. And Jesus said, 
Were well, there not 10 lepers that I healed and only one came to say thank you? So it is important to say thank you. Now, currently where we are living, we have a boy who gave his friend a biscuit. He shared his biscuit and he said, here is my biscuit. That girl said, oh, thank you. And in the evening, when uh, the father of James came home, he made for him a cup of tea because the father was so tired from work. He made a cup of tea for him. What do you think he should have said? Yeah, he should have said, thank you. Do you always remember to say thank you when someone does something nice for you? The same way Jesus was expecting that the 10 lepers should all have come back, but only one came back. And so what are we learning from this lesson? That whenever someone does something nice to you, you are to say thank you. Now, our memory verse is Psalm chapter 138, verse 1. What does it say? I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. What does it mean with all my heart? And who is Lord? Lord is our Lord God Almighty. He is our healer. Like this man should have said, thank you for healing me. So God is so many things to us. Whatever it is he has done to you, you remember to go back and say, thank you. It's not only in illness or when someone gives you a gift. Every day we wake up, every day we see the sun, perhaps there is rain or there is food or even just good weather. What are we to do when we wake up in the morning? We are to say, thank you, Lord, for the sunshine. Thank you, Lord, for the rain that helps our plants to grow that we can have food. Thank you for my parents. Remember to constantly say, thank you. And because of that, I'll show you the picture of this man who came back kneeling down to Jesus and saying, thank you. He knelt down. Do you always kneel down when you're praying? He said, thank you for healing me. And Jesus was pleased with him because he remembered to say thank you. And so we can sing a song that says, Twa sema asante, Twa sema asante, Twa sema asante, Ewe mungu wangu. So we are also saying thank you to God for giving us a chance to come to Sunday school, to listen to this lesson, and to hear God's word, because it is God's word that helps us to change and to know what it is that we should be doing. So remember this whole week to say thank you. So let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity you have given us to hear your word. Thank you that you always speak to us through your word. Help us to obey and help us to remember to say thank you. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen.